Do you like cartoonish violence and arcade-styled sports games? Then you'll love this game. Crash in the Boys Street Challenge is one of the lesser-known NES games I feel deserves more attention than it gets. This game essentially is a full-contact, no-rules, sports contest in the River City Ransom universe. You'll be throwing broken hurdles and spin-kicking your opponent on a track, choking them out of oxygen and punching their lights out during swimming, and then straight up kicking their ass in hand-to-hand -hand combat. It is a free-for-all competition, which can be played with up to four players. The winning team is simply whichever one at the end of all the events has the most medals. The higher you place in an event, the more medals you get. With that said, this game is more about having fun being up your foes than winning. The events are 400 meter dash, hammer throw, swimming, rooftop jumping, and fighting. Before each event, you choose the member of your team to compete, and then you are given the option to buy from various shops. The most important place to focus is the sports item shop, where you can purchase items to gain the upper hand in the event. In fact, you should always buy from the shop before each event. Some examples of these items are tacks that get placed on your opponent's side of the track, chomper to randomly have piranha spawn and bite your opponent underwater, and spool job for a rolling attack to stun your enemy. I have no idea why they chose the name spool job. Anyway, the item system introduces some strategy elements to the game. You need to keep asking yourself, how many medals should I spend to increase my chances at placing high for this event? 400 meter is a dash to the end of a track filled with hurdles that you can jump, slide under, or break with a shoulder tackle. If you break a hurdle, you can pick it up and swing it around or throw it right in the opponent's face. Hammer throw is as simple as it gets, just spin the hammer by mashing on the pad and then throw it. Just skip this event. Swimming is my favorite event. Don't let the name fool you, this event is brutal. Its entire purpose is to drown your opponent. You do whatever you can to deplete your opponent's oxygen until they pass out. You can jump on your opponent and choke them out, pull them underwater, or simply just punch their lights out. Rooftop jumping is sort of like parkour. You need to find the best way to make it from one rooftop to the next until the end. To do this, you are given the options of a pole vault or a unicycle to pick up for each gap. Or if the gap is small enough, you can also do a leaping ledge grab on it. Finally, the fighting event. This one is very intuitive. Punch and kick your opponent to weaken them, then grab them and mash buttons to be able to throw them. Your opponent's energy quickly replenishes after each hit, so aggression is heavily rewarded here. The animations in this game are hilarious, and the sounds and music are top-notch for the NES. In the intro, they even remix parts of classical music Vivaldi's Spring and Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. Check it out! Overall, this game is a blast, and once you learn it, I'm sure you'll love it too. It has a bit of a learning curve though, so keep that in mind when you get your ass kicked on your first play of the game. Want to quickly improve at the game? Check out my walkthrough linked in the description below.